Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Pixie again, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Pixie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're doing when you're watching this. I hope you're doing it fabulously. Uh, today is going to be another craft tutorial video. I have seen these everywhere lately. I decided to give it the old college try because if you can buy them, they're super expensive and then people do it in their own way, so I figured I would do it. And I wanted to make this to take to Disney. Do I even have to say it? This sucks. Um, my husband and I are pass holders, if you do not know if you are new here, and every weekend we just venture out to Disney because we're only about 25 minutes away given traffic, and I just bought new ears too. Like, really? <laughs> but with the coronavirus, I don't blame Disney for closing, it's definitely a precaution, and I, it, you know, it, it was probably a smart move on Disney's part. I'm going to turn on my That's better. I felt like I was washed out and I was like, what is wrong? My overhead light wasn't on, just my ring lights. Anyway, I do agree with Disney just taking a precaution. One, no more people need to get sick than they already are, or like the numbers, they don't need to go up. And with the vicinity, I think there's an average of 40,000 people a day who enter the gates of Walt Disney World Orlando. If not more these days, the parks are always crowded. So I really don't blame them. And with being pass holders, and I do believe DVC members, any lost days they're going to make up for. So if your pass expires, they will give you an extension if you decide to renew. And I don't know, it is really disappointing though because if you haven't watched my previous videos, you know I go to Disney a lot, I vlog there a lot, but my thoughts on it are Nobody needs to get sick. Nobody else needs to get sick. And so many people have told me you can't be in a vicinity of 500 people or more, Disney, or 100 people or more at any given time, Disney. And now it's down to 50 people or more. So it is depressing. I do understand why they did it. Still a little frustrating, but what are you gonna do? Better that nobody else gets sick. We don't need that. Disney doesn't need that. The world doesn't need that. So anyways, um, for the light up umbrella, most of them I've seen on the internet were using clear umbrellas, so that's what you're going to need. Mine is Steve Madden from Amazon, I'll link everything down below that I used. And it's actually more of an iridescent clear, which I thought was really neat. And I think this was $20. Anyways, it'll be in the description down below. And it's a, I do believe this is a 42 inch umbrella. So I only bought three strings of light, bought three strings of light, so hopefully that'll be enough. But I'm super excited to decorate my umbrella because I am five. So umbrella, check. Then you need some E6000 glue. This is what I'm going to use because I thought about using a hot glue gun because it'll be on the inside of the umbrella, but then the heat might melt the plastic material of the umbrella. So E6000, I love this glue. If you did not see my boot tutorial when I decorated my boots with a bunch of crap, I used this. Um, I should have enough because it's just string lights. It's not like covering a whole surface. And then I also found these on Amazon. They are just battery operated string lights by iTart. And it come with, comes with three strands, which are wound up right now. And with a little switch. So they're actually rainbow, but my ring lights are not argue, like agreeing with me. There you go, you can kind of see them. And these are, I can read uh, six foot each with 20 LED lights. So I might not even use all of these, but better to have too many than not enough. So let's get started. It should be fun. And it will be completely water waterproof because like I said, the lights are going to go on the inside of the umbrella. So hopefully this turns out worthy of an upload to YouTube and I don't make a complete mess or fool of myself because this is the first one I've ever made. Let's get started. Hey Buffy, are you gonna help? Are you gonna help? Oh, my fat being, my Buffy being. Okay, you can stay there while I work.
Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the wire and just stringing them underneath these little bars that support the umbrella and then just clamping them with glue every couple inches and I'm gonna let that sit. This is gonna take forever and then just continue all the way around the umbrella as I go. So when I get to the end with the first battery pack, I just kind of glued it on the inside of the umbrella onto one of the spines, I guess, and just clamped it into place and I'm going to let that sit and hopefully it just stays put. But it should because E6000 is pretty strong. Yay. So I have this little bit of loose lights after we overlapped the first going around the umbrella, whatever you want to call that. So I'm going to take it on this spine and go all the way up to the center and then go back down and then probably do another one on this side. So it's like divided in half. So let's do this. So now we have all this clamped down. Our switches and lights are in place. When it came to the spines of the umbrella, I basically just started wrapping the wire all the way up, but not on the folding part so it wouldn't get caught. So when you fold the umbrella up, it should not affect it at all. But I will show you the result in just a moment. All the lights. Yay, it's so pretty. Okay, so <clears throat> since that was my first time tackling decorating an umbrella, as an afterthought, you know, trial and error, the wire gets a little bit fiddly trying to wrap it around those spines or support, whatever you want to call it. Is there a name for those? Like, there's a name for the holes you put your shoelaces through, so I'm sure there's a scientific term for the spines of an umbrella. Maybe it is spines. But anyways, because the wire is so fiddly, you're going to have to work with it and be really patient. And I will stand corrected, the pack I got did take four, come with four sets of lights. Sorry, my phone. <laughs> But I only ended up using three. But if you, if like I had wanted to go on all, like each other spine instead of just the two, which actually equated to four, because they were enough to kind of go and meet the ends of the umbrella, then you could have used that last set of lights. But like I said, it is trial and error. Um, all lights are going to be different lengths, and all there's going to be different styles of umbrellas. Like I got a 42 inch umbrella, you might have a 36 or whatever the other standard is for your umbrella. So. Now that I know what to do, if I ever make another one, maybe the video will be better, but you get the idea of it. I got as much footage as I could. Um, another thing is if you're really impatient, I think 
I know I said it last time when I was doing my boots, but I do believe E6000 takes either 24 hours or 48 hours to cure, so I would not take it out to the rain. Like, if you're going on vacation, I would decorate your umbrella, like, weeks in advance just so you can, like, be able to use it and it won't fall apart. And when I did, be sure when you check the lights, if you don't get the ones I list down below that I've picked out, make sure they are water resistant. Even though they're going to be on the inside of the umbrella, you know, you might be stepping in a puddle and might splash up or something. I don't know. If you're an extreme downpour, I wouldn't use this umbrella just for safety measures, but I think it would be good for like a nice drizzle, like a spring rain if you're out at the park or if you're like, I'm intended to use it at Disney, which I will eventually because it rains almost every day here in Florida. Uh, in the summer. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I had a lot of fun making it. I like anything that gets messy with glitter or glue or rhinestones or anything like that. And I don't know, it'll, it's just, I'll be the most obnoxious person at the park when it rains. So I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more crafty videos. I do have a lot of more content coming up and <clears throat> I hope everybody stays safe out there from the coronavirus, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and basically just take care of yourself like you always do. Keep your hands clean, uh, you know, don't shake hands, that's the whole thing is like now people are joking you can't even fist bump or hug anymore, but yeah, just use common sense and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your night or whatever you happen to be doing, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this and hopefully this inspired you to decorate your own umbrella in some way, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Pixie out.